Imagine you're playing a video game where your character needs to cross a river. What would be the fastest route? Walking through the water or jumping from one stone to the next? Obviously, the jumps gets you across much faster. Now, in real life as well, we encounter situations where we need to act quickly. Like when we touch something sharp or prickly or when a ball comes flying in our direction. We cannot afford to wait around and we need to take decisions fast. Now, this is the job of our body's nervous system. Now, the nervous system is the body's communication network that helps us sense, process and respond in seconds. It connects different parts of our body together and communicates and coordinates various activities. Now, the nervous system, of course, is made of the nervous tissue. And one of the important components of the nervous tissue are the neurons or the nerve cells. Now, the neurons are responsible for communicating these messages and these messages travel in the form of electrical signals or you could say electrical impulses. So, you could compare the neurons to electric wires that are there inside our houses. Now, let's quickly recall the structure of the neuron. Now, we know that the neuron has a cell body from which these long pointy structures called as dendrites arise that actually receive messages. And we see that it, from when the dendrites receive the message, it goes to the cell body. And from here, it goes to this long fiber called as axon that carries the message forward. But if we were to compare neurons to an electric wire, we know that electric wires are insulated and the flow of current in an electric wire is continuous. But in the case of neurons, it is slightly different. We see that most neurons are also insulated, but signal does not flow continuously, but rather it leaps ahead faster. So why does signal leap in neurons? Now for this, let's go back to the structure of the neuron again. Now broadly, we know that neuron has a cell body, dendrite and axon. And when we look at the axon in most neurons, this axon comes wrapped with a special insulating layer called as the myelin sheath. Now this myelin sheath resembles the plastic coating around electrical wires. And it acts as an insulating sheath which prevents the signal from leaking out and keeps the signal stronger. This myelin sheath is not one long sleeve, but rather it is made up of many Schwann cells that wrap around the axon. And we see that those axons which have myelin in them are said to be myelinated neurons, while those without it are said to be unmyelinated neurons. But notice that as the myelin sheath forms, they, it also leaves certain gaps in between. Now, these gaps are called as the nodes of Ranvier. But why does node of Ranvier exist? Or what is the role of these gaps? Well, we know that messages in the neuron tra travels in the form of electrical signals, right? Now, why do they travel in the form of electrical signals? It is primarily because of the movement of sodium and potassium ions through the neuron's membrane. And at each node, we notice that sodium and potassium ions keep moving in and out. Now, if electrical signals arise due to the difference of sodium and potassium ions, then this movement at the nodes sort of re-energizes the impulse which is why you can think of this node of Ranvier as an energy or like a mini charging station where at each node sodium and potassium ions move in and out that creates little bursts of electrical charge as a result of which when the impulse reaches the node of Ranvier it does not go straight further but rather it leaps to the next node. Which is why in this particular case, the signal travels jumping from one node to the next. And this type of conduction is what is called as saltatory conduction. Now, why does this matter? This matters because signals in myelinated neurons travel much, much faster. 
when compared to non-myelinated neurons where the impulse crawls and goes step by step. It's kind of like the difference between hopping across stones and wading through the water. So therefore, quickly to recall, we know that the nervous system is responsible for helping our body make important decisions and they carry information in the form of electrical impulses. Now, myelinated neurons have myelin sheath that insulates the signal and the node of Ranvier act as stepping stones or charging stations that boost the impulse as it leaps forward. And this helps for much faster conduction of the impulse when compared to the non-myelinated ones. So with this, I hope that the concepts related to the node of Ranvier is now clear to you.